Hey guys, Alex here for TechFlow and I come with some really good news because 2.5 gig networking is slowly coming down in price Finally. In this box, I have a managed two and a half gig with a 10 gig SFP plus port, I would like to add, networking switch here. I'd like you to guess in the comments how much this thing costs. And don't cheat and don't look at the link in the description because I've definitely remembered to put a link in there. It's managed, which means it's not dumb, i.e. you can log onto this and do different things with the ports like VLANs and stuff. Switch, made out of metal, Ports on the front, SFP plus port, fairly standard. Now, the premise of this video is to get two and a half gig networking up to my gaming desk on the top floor of the house because we have a NAS drive in the office. Let's go and check out the install. But first, I want to revisit the 10 gig link that we put over to the studio because we've made some changes to it. So touching on the video that we did last year where we got 10 gig internet from the house to the studio with a fiber cable, we actually ran it above my head. Now, we got a bit of stick in the comments for doing that, even though it is proper externally rated cable, but now I've had the drive resurfaced. So the fiber cable now goes under this tube, which goes under the drive over there to the studio, which is absolutely awesome. And here, is another fiber run which is eventually going to end up going down to the gate so we'll have 10 gig fiber to the gate which is completely overkill so to make this work to get two and a half gig up to the top floor of this house like i mentioned we're going to need this two and a half gig switch but this switch is not going to live here in the main network rack or closet. This is actually going to go up on the top floor so I can connect a load of other two and a half gig devices. What we're going to need in here though is one of these things. So this is an SFP plus to 10 gig Ethernet transceiver, if you want to call it a transceiver. So this basically plugs into an SFP plus port on a switch and then gives you a bog standard Ethernet which is capable of up to 10 gig. Now, as you guys are probably aware, most Ethernet switch ports in this day and age are just one gig. All of these ports just put out one gig. So by installing this in this little slot here, so now we have an RJ45 port on this switch which is capable of 10 gig. Now the beauty of this is we don't actually have to run any new cables because running up to the top floor, I've already got a Cat6 cable. So we're gonna use that to run the two and a half gig and it's currently only transmitting one gig. And then just for some extra context for you guys, this here fiber cable is the 10 gig link over to the studio where the NAS is. And the NAS is what we're gonna be pulling some data from to do our tests. So this here is the network switch, which we're gonna be replacing. This black cable is coming from the network that's in the loft over there. And then one of these cables is going off to my computer. So this at the moment is our one gig bottleneck. So let's go and try and pull something off the NAS that's in the studio and see what speeds we get on my computer on the top floor. Okay, so I've got Task Manager open here on the gaming PC and here is a 2.6 gig folder which I'm about to drag over to the desktop. So let's start copying this and as we can see, I saw 700, 925, 700 odd megabits, 800 meg. So I also have some CCTV cameras that are running through that network switch. But as you can see, we are reaching a bottleneck here of 700, 800 meg. So let's call it a gig really. guys so now is the moment of truth and I think yes we've linked up at two and a half gig and I can tell because we have a green light on this port here now you can see this cable that's going off to the computer this has stayed simply orange because we haven't linked up at two and a half gig here so what we need to do to do that is actually install a two and a half gig network card and Nick in the computer who's Nick <laughs> So we need to now install this little device inside of my computer to basically upgrade my gaming PC to two and a half gig. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's linked up at two and a half gig. Let's check the switch. Oh, green light, which basically means 2.5G has been established. So it looks like I've got an Ethernet light on the computer. So no drivers have been installed here. This really has been the definition of plug and play. So now the last thing to do is see what speeds we can get from the NAS. But before we do, a quick word from our friends over at Squarespace. If you'd asked me about their unique selling point, it's the fact that you can create a website on Squarespace really quite easily. Like you don't need any prior knowledge to create said website, whatever you want to create, whether it's a website to advertise your wedding, it's a personal blog, or it's an actual storefront where you're selling things. You can also add a little bit of spice, mix it up, change the pre-made templates, add things like animations to make them pop and make your website stand out. So if you guys want to save yourself 10% off your first Squarespace purchase or domain, then simply use code TECHFLOW or go to squarespace.com forward slash TECHFLOW. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring the video. Now back to the video. So this is the time of the video where I think I let you guys know that the NIC inside of this computer was around 30 quid on Amazon. The network switch was about 65 and the converter that went from SFP plus to 10 gig Ethernet was around 30 again. So we're just in here at about 100 pounds worth of equipment to upgrade from 1 gig to 2.5. Let's drag this same folder across and see what happens. Three, two, one. It works! That's sick! And that's that, it's done. It's just done it like that. But that is night and day. I honestly don't know what I was expecting. Probably something not to work. But the fact that this works and we haven't had to run any new cables. Yeah, if you want to upgrade to two and a half gig with some cheap networking gear, then I'll put the links for you guys in the description. This is a managed networking switch, so let's log on to it and just see what we can play with. So the new network switch hasn't picked up a DHCP address from my network. It's got a static address out the box, which is 192.168.1.99. So if I click return on this, it's asking for a username and password, which is admin and admin. And just like that, we're into this Vinim, Vimin switch. Okay, so you can do VLANs on each port, which is basically the only thing that I will want to do because I want to run some CCTV cameras through this switch and I like to have my network segregated for all of my IoT stuff and my actual internal LAN. So that was the reason that I wanted a managed switch so I can change these settings. There was actually a cheaper one, which I think was £55, which was an unmanaged switch, a dumb switch. So you can't go in and change things. Just what you plug in to any switch port will be on the network, which I think will do for 99.9% .9 of most people just trying to deploy a two and a half gig network, let's say in a small to medium office environment environment or something like that. But really cool to see that this has worked and was super, super cheap. And this network switch actually has some pretty high-end features. It's even got QoS on here, which is nuts. So here we are guys, back in the studio where everything started. Now over a few videos we have established a 10 gig link between the house and the studio and now in this video a two and a half gig link from the house up to the top floor where my gaming computer is. Meaning that when I'm in the house on my gaming PC I can access all the files on the NAS at an extremely fast rate, which is really important for us here, especially in the office, working with these video files that create all the videos that you see on TechFlow and all of my vlogs, etc, etc. To be honest, that's the main reason for it, for these massive 10-bit 4K video files that we record to make these videos. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little journey anyway. My name's been Alex. I'll put the links down there in the description. Let us know if you're upgrading to 2.5 gig anytime in the near future. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.